Hey everybody, so I've had this idea for a while. It's known as Project Crow Twalk, and I've been working on it, let's say, for quite a while. I had to make a paper mache helmet and all sorts. Well, today you're gonna see the behind the scenes of a video which you've already seen. And at this point in time, it doesn't exist. I have to create it, and I'm just gonna show you how I make things, how I process stuff. I've already storyboarded it in my head, thought about the shots and everything, and now I've just got to make it. And I like doing it on the fly because it means I can imagine the film as I'm going. So I'm going to have to start filming it in any second now, because I need the beginning bit. Which you're going to recognise from the video. <whistles> nice sunny day. I think I might have a lay on the beach. Gorgeous. Mm. Really nice. <laughs> okay, so that is the intro part started. Now, I have some cutaway shots um, and some animatronics. <laughs> There's not really animatronics in the slightest, but you know what I mean. I do need to fit in a slight joke because I need to reverse the bike. That's the, the sort of payoff, the confusion got the sun directly behind me so as long as I'm out of line I'll be fine right this is where the fun starts and the strange looks no doubt because this is where you get to meet the crow and his helmet paper mache got a visor got the lot right set the camera up Canon 650D, video mode, I want to maintain the 60fps, so manual, sixty frames a second, now where's, right it's just inside the wheel. Okay, close enough. Could do without the sound of random vehicles. And on. That's the first bit filmed, really. Now I need to show that I've left the keys behind. Okay, so we've arrived, stopped, shown a shot of the key. We've then gone over and fallen asleep. Then that cuts to crow on the floor, crow along the bike, crow pecks at this, shows the clocks, then moves to the starter, engine starts, then we've got the helmet on, then it's cutting to the driving cam, then it's going to be riding around, coming back, and then the bike's going to be facing the other way. So it means that I need to turn the bike around, film the returning to the bike part, and the crow getting off, and then just ride around it. This is what I mean about imagining the film in your head. Uh, right, where was the side stand? It was there. So the size down was there, so I need to get it in about the right spot. But facing the other way. Um, and I also need to make sure that I get back in the same place opposite the blue beach hut when I return. So now, film crow getting off the bike and leaving. I wish I had something more focused, there may be some slightly out of focus parts to this, but there is literally nothing I can do about it. Now the crow is going to be sat on here, 
everything apart from the riding bits. So the crow's gonna have to be sat there. Now, none of my camera equipment can be seen, so that's all gonna have to be put away. And yes, it is not lost on me how insane I look doing this, or how insane I'm gonna look when I uh, drive around with the crow on the tank. I could have sworn I parked the other way around. I don't know. Oh well. And that should be everything I need apart from the crow mounted to the bike. This is where it's going to get fucking funny. Yeah, I'm already getting stared at. Yes, hello. Because now we have to attach this to the bike with a camera on it. And yes, I have thought this through way too much. Duct tape, bottle, camera with head strap, otherwise now known as crow strap, and a rubber band. Okay, so, camera goes on the crow as far back as possible. And then the rubber band is to try and hold it down. I've got to get this lined up. That's very important, that little thing. That needs to come back here right now. He looks pretty good. Hands are way out of the view, which is exactly what I was after. Yeah, I'm getting stared at already. And of course I'm using duct tape because, well, WD-40 is not going to work for it, is it? I need to make sure it's centralised, yep. <laughs> You're loving this, aren't you, Crow? If you wonder where this crow came from, um, at one of my meets, a guy who acts as the Portsmouth crow, or the Portsmouth crow himself, an actual crow, sent this to me in the post, to the, um, the Frosty Small Sausage Fest. We are firmly attached. Now you can see what the problem is, is this. Can't have that. So that's what this is for. What's our clearance like? Oh. I'm going to have to use it that way, I think. Yep. It's fine, though. We can adjust on the fly. I've also made sure that I have enough fuel in the bike that I don't need to take this off. That may sound stupid to say, but... Can you imagine the pain in the arse if I was about to start running out of fuel? Okay, so we got that. My phone just buzzed, it's probably someone calling me about a job interview, but I have more important things to do right now. Okay, so... Yep. Okay. Bike straight. Screen straight. I might have a few problems with reflections in the video, but I'm just going to have to accept that as being the way that it is. There's nothing I can really do about that. Bike straight. You recording? You recording? Just hope my hands are out of the way enough and let the fun begin. <laughs> it was the first look. I'm sure I could do adverts and stuff. Oh god, I'm just going to use cut shots for this bit, so that's why I'm keeping quiet. Well, you might not know because I'm cutting in between those bits, but I'm keeping quiet in some corners and some straight bits. I need to do a few, you know, sort of normal biking things, because the Crow, he's one hell of a rider, considering he can't reach any of the controls. Of course, it would be so funny if I could do this on something like a BMW 1000RR, you know, and absolutely cane it around, but I have to keep the legality things in the mind, so comedy's just going to have to be part of it. I don't think anyone's noticing. <laughs> oh god, I could make him out to be a nice crow and have him putting fuel in the bike, though I think the people in the petrol station might question what the fuck is going on. Oh god. What's going on here? Saab with a smashed in front end.
they try to overtake where there's a central island. Wow. So I just need to remember where to park facing the right way and then everything should be filmed and done. And then it's back home for some lunch and then I'm going to do some editing. And I'll, uh, I'll probably, you know, show you a little bit of that too. The last thing I need is for anyone to be parked where I was parked. That would screw things right up. End of the recording. Sorted. Everything looks good. Not littering. It's going in my pocket. And yet that, those two guys are looking at me like, what the fuck? Why has he got a crow on his tank? Right, well everything's done for that. I'll only know how it goes when I do the edit. But now it's just time to have fun and ride around with a crow on your tank. The second I point to it to acknowledge that he's looking at it, he looks away. Why? You should have been like, that's cool, or you're a dick. You know, one or the other. That's basically all it's going to come out at. So, little crow. You enjoying your little ride? Yeah, you are. Oh, you've got, yeah, he's alright, his visor are up because he's got the screen. He's getting some fresh air, bless him. Caution, you should be bloody cautious, mate. I've got a crow on here. Okay, I use Sony Vegas. I've imported all of the head camera footage. And I've also imported the actual ride with the crow. And then all of these are the little pieces that it's going to take to make up the little story. That I've already trimmed down to their like little pieces, so I can then start putting this together from the start as it would happen, as I would see it in the video. So it'll start with you know getting off the bike, uh, walking over, falling asleep. Then it cuts. It goes to some of this stuff. Then it gets this bit. Then it gets a few more bits when we return, and then getting back to the bike, and then it's done. You can guess how that's done. It's just sticking it all together, chopping it down, cut paste. Probably going to put some music in there, maybe. Don't know what I'm going to do with the audio exactly, but I'll work that out. But yeah, that's basically how this is happening. So as you can see, this is how it ended up. It's pretty basic editing, really. Um, you have to know about comedy timing a little bit, and using the music to your advantages. Like, I found this on the... People say to me, where do you, what song is this? Where do you get the music from? YouTube have an audio library of okay to use music, and I'll only use those because I don't want to get into the, the world of you know copyright infringement. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's not a good thing. And if you know what's going on with YouTube at the moment, even if you use it fairly, you can quite often find yourself getting strikes and stuff. So I just do it all above board, and then I don't have any worries. Um, but yeah, as I say, use music to your advantages, the right sort of music for like the, you know, the intrigue parts, and then the rock music for the more sort of, you know, those bits. If you watch a video, you'll see it. But yeah, um, it's been online for quite a few hours now actually it's got about 4,000 views I think at this point um, and yeah it's going down really well I'm really glad that you guys liked it um, people are saying oh you know it's a clickbait title but I'm taking the piss and I supply everything that it says in the title um, you know a bike does get stolen it did go avian <laughs> but there you go that's sort of how I do things. Um, I don't normally do it in such a quick succession, but as I was recording a video and recording another video at the same time as I was doing that, which is the making of video, um, this one, that's the way it worked out. So there we go. So thanks very much for liking and subscribing and all of that stuff. Um, if you're interested to see more of behind the scenes stuff, um, you don't have to let me know because I'm going to do some more of it anyway. <laughs> I'll make what I like to make, and if you like it, that's good, and if you don't, well, there will always be another video. Anyway, bye-bye, bye-bye. This mongoose has been sat next to my editing PC for the past four years. He is a mascot. This penguin is a friend of the mongoose. He's only been here about a year. It doesn't help much. <laughs>